just a little discussion about individual cells of batteries this battery each cell is a 2 volt cell it doesn't really matter what kind of battery you have each cell is 2 volts I'm sorry let me correct that lead acid type not your little wee small double A's and triple A's and C's and D's and your little square 9 volt batteries even though they're cells this type battery is a lead acid based type battery it is a self circulating non evaporating battery this type they have many types but they basically work off the same principle and each one of these is 2 volts now charging these up I found it very difficult finding ways and talking to people they were just unsure a lot of these type batteries are used in phone communications um, type places like that for backup sources and people are now using them for off-grid living they're a great little battery but charging them is very difficult it's a very difficult process they're they're quite long in length okay and what I really want to stress to everybody is this long in length I mean keep in mind when charging them up that current needs to travel from here all the way down to here and to do that you it really requires some time you know even though a charger will say it's full it's not really true it's not full um, it requires a long time to charge that up and and they recommend do not bring the cell above 2.85 volts but I'm going to tell you is uh, I brought I bring my cells to a lot higher than that and they do much better I mean you're operating off of you're operating off of a 2 volt cell so when the charger is no longer hooked up to it it drops down to roughly 2.16 is a safe thing to say as far as a charge sitting there but now when you're using that battery it doesn't take a whole long time to, to drop below the 2 volts which now you know they recommend that you do not bring them down past 1.75 so you have a little flex period there from 1.75 to 2.16 and that's what you're using in that battery basically now 1.75 you're getting pretty low on the scale it's pretty unusable in a lot of applications for an example inverters that transform DC power over to AC power well a lot of inverters they'll just shut themselves down if all the cells are at 1.75 because the uh, they require a little bit more voltage to operate so what I do is I, I'll bring these up to um, 3.10 that's what I bring them up to now to do that it's a little bit difficult because most chargers will not bring them that high so I have to uh, add a little bit a little bit of assistance in doing so I had to make up basically my own individual cell charger um, it's a, not a very complicated process but it's complicated enough I've, I've looked on a market for them and I can't find them anywhere they seem not to sell them I mean they may have them somewhere but I can't locate them so I had to come up with some kind of idea of what, what am I going to do to charge an individual cell this way if I have troubles within my bank with one cell I can work with it very difficult like I said to find that one cell charger so I had to make it up myself and uh, maybe I'll make a video on that a little bit later but right now I'm just talking about the battery and the, 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 the charge rate basically not really a rate it's what you want to bring the battery up to if you expect to get any kind of time on use usage of it if you just use the recommended standard what they tell you well that's fine too I mean that's all great and dandy for myself I, I bring them a little bit higher uh, some people would say that's dangerous for myself I've never encountered a problem I'm not recommending anybody to do anything I'm just stating how I treat the batteries that I use and I've been working with them for a very long time kind of experimenting experimenting with them <laughs> to see what I can't get with them because I have no hydro so they are a bonus to myself and my family they're a bonus all right to assist in lights and the different things needed as a home would have so um, 
I bring it, like I say, to over three volts, and they recommend not past 2.85, which even seems high for two volts. But keep in mind, this is a big battery. Uh, this is long. This is over two feet tall. It's not very wide. They come in all kinds of shapes, all kinds of thicknesses. This is not very, this is about roughly two inches, not actually measuring it. And on top, yeah, of course, you have your posts. You have your negative and your positive. And this one here is a sealed cap. I don't have to touch it. don't have to add any, any distilled water or any of such. Just keep it regulated is the biggest secret, is to keep it up on charge. You don't want to let it drop too low or else it seems to hurt the battery. And it's very, very, very difficult, if not impossible, to get it back up. Not saying it's impossible, but if not, close to it. Um, I've ran them down very, very low, and I've had very difficult times doing anything with them. And in some cases, they would just end up being garbage. No good for anything except the scrapyard or the recycle place. So just a little tip.